welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for clicking on this video. My name is Madonna. I'm a makeup artist here in New Jersey and for today's video, as you can see, I am doing a summertime bronze glam. I guess I'm playing up my new hair. As you can see that it is now highlighted and I'm feeling a little more Latina than usual. So... I'm starting to feel this hair earlier. I wasn't, I kind of just shocked myself because I did such a drastic change. But you know what? I'm actually starting to like it and it's starting to look really good, especially with this look. So if you want to see how I got this summertime uh, bronze glam look, just keep on watching. So to prep the face, I'm going to start with this um, Ombrelise moisturizer and I'm going to mix a little bit with Max Goldie Light Stroke Cream. And I'm just going to put this all over the face. It's basically just like my highlighting primer. Next for foundation, I'm using uh, Wet n Wild's Cushion Foundation and Buff Beige. I know that this is going to look really, really light. Um, this is more like my winter shade and <laughs> I have a little bit of a tan. So don't be alarmed. I'm going to be able to fix this. I'm going to use a little bit of... Um, Golden and I'm just gonna tap this on the perimeter on the outer perimeter of my face then blend this in with a BH cosmetics Foundation brush not sure which one is this is but any brush will be fine Then highlight and conceal with NYX cosmetics HD concealer in beige This is to help balance out my foundation because as you know, it's not really a perfect match And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows with An Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in dark brown And this is basically how I do my brows just kind of Line the bottom and then the top and fill in and try to be as light as possible with my hands so that it looks natural. Then go in and start blending out my concealer. I like to do this to keep my concealer on and kind of like bake it for a little bit. It gives me more a full coverage look. And it's easier to blend out when you leave it on for a little bit. It just makes it creamier. For some reason now for the powder I am setting my concealer with the loose fit me powder in light medium this also has a tint to it so it kind of tones down a color just a smidge then I'm going to bronze with Fisher's formula butter bronzer in deep bronze and I have kind of like an angled brush and I actually like to kind of stamp the bronzer on instead of blending it out so that I'm not dragging the rest of my fit foundation the rest of my face with it and I don't know I just like this technique I liked how it looks whenever I bronze this way for blush I'm using Morphe's natural blush I believe this is the palette and then just kind of putting it on the apples of my cheeks then I'm gonna use Morphe 350 palette to do the eyes I'm so sorry I don't know the names of these shades so I hope these visuals will you know be useful I'm using this first shade to kind of just use it as a transition and um, an Anastasia Beverly Hills brush from the Soft Glam palette. And I'm just putting this all over the, I guess the crease area, kind of like close to my brow bone, but leaving space up there because I just don't like to bring my eyeshadows all the way up. Then I'm going to use this next shade to deepen the crease, just putting this on the crease and I'm extending it a little bit out. I'm using the same Anastasia Beverly Hills brush. Because, I don't know, I just didn't think it was necessary to get another one. This was just like, the perfect size. Next, I'm going to use the darkest brown color in the palette right next to the black. And I'm adding this to my lash line. This is where I want it to be smoky. I just want it to be on that section and nothing else. Then I'm going to put in the same colors on my lower lash line and pretty much tight line my lower lash line as well with that darkest shade. Then for highlight, I'm going to go ahead and use Max Whisper of Guilt. And I'm just using um, a Wet n Wild highlighting brush. This is from their first unicorn collection. And then for lashes, I'm using Kiss Blowout Lashes, and this is basically how I put on lashes now. Um, I'm getting, I've gotten very good at this actually. Just kind of place in the middle, outer corner, and then in. I'm gonna tight line with the Inglots Gel Liner in black, and also make it dark in the lash line as well. Then I'm gonna use Bad Gal Bangs Mascara to make sure my lashes blend in with the falsies, and also some mascara on my lower lash line. 
Then I'm gonna use NYX Cosmetics Suede Lip Liner. Um, this is kind of like a plum. I, oh, it's Plumera. And I'm just gonna line my lips with this. Then I'm gonna use Maybelline Superstay Ink in the shade Poet. And I'm just gonna put this on all over my lips and mix in with the lip liner. Then I'm gonna go ahead and do this cute little hairstyle that I do every once in a while. It's kind of like a half ponytail, but pretty much at the crown to give my hair a lot of volume up top. Then add in some hoops, which I bought at Walmart. And that is it guys, this is the final look. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you learned something new. And please subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye!